Okay, so in this section, we're going to do uh, some image mapping on the wine bottle to put the label on. But before that, I wanted to go through what uh, this button does, texture mode. When we go into uh, mapping images onto shapes, there are a bunch of different ways that you can do that without having to go into UV mapping or body paint. So we're going to do that way first, and then as we get on in the semester with different assignments, uh, we'll go into UV mapping. But first of all, I just wanted to show you what uh, texture mode was like, the different ways you can map images and textures onto objects. So I've got some basic shapes here, cube, sphere, plane, and cylinder. And I made a material right here. And I all I did to get this image here was I just, so I'll clear this out. So this is what you get as a typical default material. And you can just go right here into this button. It'll bring up the uh, <clears throat> dialog box and you can map any image onto that. And I've just got this kind of basic wine label. Um, so I'm going to map that on. I always just say no when that question comes up. So now you've got the image mapped into the color channel. And you can see right here how it's um, how it shows up. And then what you can do is just actually drag this material onto the shapes. And I'm just going to show you the different ways that uh, mapping works in texture mode. So I just drag the material with the image on it onto these shapes and this is what you end up getting. Okay, so how do we end up editing the placement and scale and rotation of this image on these objects? And that's where texture mode comes in. First of all, before we get there, when a new material gets applied to an object, you have this tag right here, this material tag. And there are attributes to this tag, just like anything else. So if you go into the attributes of the texture tag right here, by default, the projection is set to UVW mapping. Now that only works when there's actually a UV map that's been made, and that has to be made in a separate program called Body Paint that's inside Cinema. There are a bunch of different ways to map this image on this object by just changing the projection of the image on the material tag. So if I go to the cube object and then select the material tag for the cube, I can go in here and, and change the projection from UVW mapping to all these different ways. And I'm just going to select spherical for the first one. Now that's hard to know what this even did. It just changed. It obviously changed the way it looked, but how do we move this around and, and scale it and everything to get it right? And that's where this button comes in. So by default, when UVW mapping is selected and I select the texture tag or the texture mode, this yellow grid appears. And that's not very helpful. But when I change the projection to spherical, look what happens. So it actually gives you a visual reference of how this texture is projected onto this object. And what's cool is I can now move this spherical object. I can rotate it. in all the different ways I want to. Now it's not very helpful to map an image spherically onto a cube. So I can just show you, if I go back to the material tag and change the projection to cubic, that makes a lot more sense. And what's that, what that's doing is it's mapping the image in a cube shape on every face of this cube. And I can still move it if I want to. If I scale it, this happens. And you can see how 
I scale this down, you can see how the projection changes and then it tiles by default. So now if I go into the tag again, there's this check mark in the attributes. If I uncheck it, then it won't tile the image across the object. That makes it a lot easier to see how this mapping is working. And I can go in now in the move tool and I can move this like that. So now I have control over how it gets mapped onto this object. But say you only want one side of this cube to have the label. That's when you go into the tag and change the projection from cubic to flat. Now look at this. So flat is, is just one plane of projection basically. And sometimes it ends up like this. And you can just rotate like you would any other object to get it to be in the place that you want. So that's what that's the flat projection. That's what the flat projection looks like. This is obviously backwards, so you just have to rotate it 180. It'll come back around. So texture mode is really helpful in in visually showing how images are mapped onto material or are mapped onto objects. Now, if I go to this one, the sphere, I can just change this and see how I'm still in texture mode. So this grid shows up, and I can change this projection to spherical. Nothing really changes because it knew it was a sphere, so it mapped it that way. And I can scale this down. So I can turn off tiling to make it easier to see. And I use the move tool and see how it's changing the projection along the object. And then I can scale it this way and then rotate it. So that's great. And then a plane is really easy. It would just be flat mapping. And this will happen normally, which can be really annoying. That just means that the texture has to be rotated. Like that. And then I'll turn off tiling. Scale this up a little bit. And so that's a flat projection onto a plane. And then here, this is what we're going to get into with the wine bottle. We need to change it to a cylindrical projection right here because it's a cylinder and that happens and you can see before when it was UVW it was mapped on the top and the bottom of the cylinder when you change it to cylindrical it only does the front or the, the sides of it if I scale this down obviously turn off tiling 
you can see how the mapping is changing. And scale it down. And move it. Look at that. 